Welcome back to the channel. In a break from EVs, we're back to combustion cars and I'm at work, I'm in my workshop and I've got a Volkswagen Group petrol car in and this reminded me, I saw a video from Walsall Wood Tire where they're talking about misfires with VW cars um, if you over talk your spark plug. And someone in the comments said, oh, that's utterly ridiculous. There's no way they are indexed from the factory. And I thought, are they? So what does that mean? Well, in a spark plug like this, we have a ground strap, um, which is here, and then we have the central um, electrode. And the spark obviously goes between those two bits and ignites, ignites the fuel-air mixture. But if you have, um, in a modern engine, you have direct injection, which comes in like this. And if the uh, ground strap is in the way of the injector, you'll get a poor spray pattern and possibly misfire. So in race engines, people have always been interested in clocking these plugs so that the ground strap sits in the optimum position. Now, it's my understanding that these engines have pre-clocked plugs, but the man on the internet said I was talking rubbish. So there's only one way to find out, and that's to test it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install these plugs and I'm going to note the position of the ground strap, I'm going to make a mark on uh, on the hex of the of the of the plug around right about here, um, where the uh, the ground strap is, and then we can see when they've been installed and talked to the correct spec, whether that ground strap is in the correct place. Okay, so here's our setup. Now these are the plugs I'm fitting. They are genuine Volkswagen NGKs, and you can see the NGK part number is really long. Now, I know you can decode an NGK part number normally, but that does seem, even by their standards, a bit excessive. Uh, what I've done is I've marked with a Sharpie um, the point on the hex where it aligns with the ground strap on each plug, so you can see that. I'm not faking that. These are the old plugs, and if I'm honest, they look a bit over-tightened to me, because this uh, copper washer is quite compressed. And these ones are Bosch uh, from, I don't know whether they're factory or whether they have been changed by a dealer beforehand. And if you look, I've got the genuine Volkswagen tool and I've marked it again in the, the same place. So that's going to align with uh, that when we put it in. So just looking at the car, it's really simple. Inlet manifold at the front, exhaust manifold at the back. We've got the fuel rail in here. And that's where the plug wells are. So we want those lines to be facing um, this way. So away from the injectors. Now, we're going to look at the plugs because there is something interesting I've noticed about those plugs. Okay, so looking at these plugs, what I have noticed is the threads. Now, if we look at the point opposite to the ground strap on this, you can see where the thread starts to start to start is like there. And if you look at another plug, it's exactly the same, look. And if you look at the Bosch plug, it's hard to see because they have got a bit crusty whilst in there. Not very good plating Bosch, but it does look exactly the same. So we start getting quite a fat thread by now and the full thread round by ground strap side. So they are absolutely identical in terms of thread cut to ground strap on each plug. Now if it's the case that the head is cut to the same level of precision, when I do these up to 22 newton meters, that's the factory spec, these should all be in the same place because this washer won't compress very much. It's a copper washer. Normally spark plugs have like a crush washer. You know, one of those ones that sort of actually properly deforms. Copper washers obviously do deform, but not by as much. You know, it's, it's just a very slight Whereas normally with the spark plug, you get a good kind of uh, half a turn or so to, to compress the washer. So it's going to be interesting, this. Okay, so if you look, we have the spark plug lined up. We have our torque wrench 
set for 22 newton meters. And I have cleaned up the hole because uh, the spot plug hole. So we're going to go in to number one now. Okay. Which is a bit pants because I can't see the line. Let's make it really obvious. Okay, so I've got a line running all the way down in line with the uh, the ground strap now. Let's try that again. It wasn't particularly clear before. As I say, we want this line now to be facing away from the injector, which is here. I've still got the, split, the torque wrench at 22 newton meters. And you see I'm not using any power tools to run this down. Clean the threads up, or clean the seat, you know. Right, okay. Here goes, nothing. Okay, now. I'm going to show you when that has stopped. It has stopped well away. Ground strap nearly all the way round there. And we were at 22, just to confirm that. So the next one now we're going to put in, here's the plug, it's going to be plug number two, and you can see there's our line going all the way up to the top, this is the most delicately fitted spark plug in all of humanity, and there's no stiffness or anything on these threads. Okay, so let's uh, torque that one up. And really, there's almost no movement. Once I've done it by hand to the torque, it's not really moving. So I'll we'll have a look at this one now. Yeah, look, it stopped in exactly the same place with the ground strap away from the injector. Not looking good for the man on the internet, I have to say. Maybe third one will prove him wrong. So far these two have stopped in exactly the same place. So just to prove again, we've got our line here. It's going in there. You see that's lined up with the ground strap. And we're going in, unfortunately this is not a four cylinder model. Just cylinder three. And um, what's interesting is it's stopping in exactly the same spot each time. There's uh, no tolerance at all. It's, easy. it's not precisely away from the uh, injector. It's not like exactly 180 degrees, but it doesn't really have to be. So, okay. So I'm getting almost no movement to get that to talk. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah, so look, it's it's stopping exactly the same plot point. I'd say it's more like eleven o'clock than twelve o'clock away from away from it. But uh, I don't know whether you can see that down there. Oop. There's the marking. There's marking on that as well. Yeah, I think I have proved the man on the internet wrong. The Volkswagen plugs now are, if they've got that copper washer, they are essentially um, pre-clocked, pre-indexed from the factory. So, um, yes, that kind of proves my point. They stopped all in exactly the same place, at about 11 o'clock away from the injector. So, definitely, you need to torque these spark plugs. Probably not super critical the torque, um, but just certainly don't go wild on them because you'll compress that quite soft copper washer and you'll get a misfire. Very interesting.